I'm gonna show you how to make fish and chips at home without having to buy that box, stick it in the oven or in the microwave and save you a ton of calories and fat. Let's start with the chips part, which is basically crispy potatoes. Instead of deep frying potatoes, uh, I'm gonna cheat this. I've actually microwaved a few russet potatoes. And the reason why I've actually microwaved them is to get the cooking pretty much 90% done. I want them nice and kind of creamy on the inside. I want all those starches of the potatoes to really give. And we'll cut these into wedges. So these wedges are par-cooked from the microwave and going into the bowl now. I'm bringing in a little seasoning. I have a little bit of Italian dressing and I just want to coat these a bit. And then to that, I'm gonna bring a little bit of seasoned crispy coating mix. Usually the kind you shake up, right? That's, that's the good stuff right there. So I just wanna coat them nice and gently. I'll stir that around because I need to save that seasoned coating for the fish as well. So let's get these coated really, really nicely. All right, right onto a baking sheet. I prepared a foil lined baking sheet. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of pan spray just to keep it from sticking. And then I'm gonna throw these right on there. Make sure when you're baking anything to give it a little bit of room because um, you're moving a lot of hot air in there. And if you, give, if you give about an inch of space in between everything you're actually roasting or baking, it's gonna simulate deep frying, right? You're gonna get a nice um, hot blast of air that's gonna, gonna spin around and actually crisp up these edges. These potatoes are ready to go in the oven now. So now for the fish. So haddock is a really great fish for fish and chips because it's flaky, it's white meat, it's not very fishy. We're still gonna use the haddock, but we're not gonna deep fry this. I'm using a light mayonnaise here, and I do like light mayonnaise because it gives you a lot of creaminess, but it doesn't give you a lot of fat. Just kind of give it a stir to kind of loosen it up, because I'm gonna be coating this fish in the light mayonnaise. So we'll take a brush, and I really just want you to nicely Paint a nice thin layer right onto the fish. And you're not really overdoing it. You're doing it so you're thinking about this being the nice kind of glue that sticks the crispy coating to the fish. And you want both sides. And what this is gonna do is actually protect the lean fish when cooking. So it's got a, it's a, think about it as a nice moisture layer. So let's go one side first. And I want to coat this as much as possible. So get it on to most of the filet. And then feel free to just give it a nice tap to really set this coating in. I'm gonna turn this over and do the other side. Let's go ahead and paint on a little more of our mayonnaise. All right, next layer. So I'm gonna throw this in the oven. I'm gonna cook them. Remember, fish doesn't take a long time to cook. That's why we started the potatoes first. Um, the good rule of thumb is about 10 minutes per inch of fish. So this is probably gonna take about 10 minutes. We've got potatoes in, we've got the fish in. I'm gonna show you a really fun dipping sauce. Now fish and chips, you know, is traditionally English. I'm gonna go a little I'm gonna get a little south of the border with this sauce because I love chipotle peppers. If you don't know what chipotle peppers are, they're basically smoked jalapeno chilies and they're sitting in a beautiful tomato and vinegar broth. So your dipping sauce is gonna be just a little bit of the low fat mayonnaise. I'm gonna add to that some chipotles. Let me cut them with my garlic first. So I've got one clove of garlic, a little bit of lime. I'm gonna smash the garlic and bring it down really, really fine. Once I take it down to kind of mince, I'll show you a really fun trick. You're gonna actually walk your knife at a slight angle and you can hear that you're smashing the garlic. And that's gonna get it nice and almost like a paste. And that paste is gonna incorporate really well into this sauce. So let's bring it all together now. The smokiness of these chipotles are unbelievable. Chipotle, garlic, a little bit of lime juice to loosen everything up and the acids marry everything together. The mayonnaise is a really nice creamy base that kind of carries all that smoked chili tomato flavor. Excellent. 
So now all I'm waiting for is the fish and the potatoes to be done. All right, so I think the fish and the chips are finished. Let's pull them out of the oven. Oh, nice, crispy chips, fish right there. Very nice. So I do want to plate these all together. I'm going to finish my sauce with a little bit of cilantro first. It gives that kind of south of the border spin with the chipotle. It works really nicely. We'll stir that in and we'll plate up. I'm going to put it right onto the plate. Our amazing reduced fat chipotle aioli there. Look how easy fish and chips can be and not from the frozen. Ready, set, cook. Subscribe or watch another recipe rehab how-to video right now. And check out Couples in Crisis, where sex therapist Dr. Berman helps real couples fix their relationship.